Howdy folks, Jamboreeky here. Now before I begin this vlog, I must warn you that I have a habit of slipping up what I'm trying to say. This can lead to some silly sounds like or So be warned. I've been watching the American Canadian animated series Arthur very frequently lately. For those of you who don't know what Arthur is, it's an educational children's cartoon. It's been airing for a very long time. It's on to its 16th season. It has been airing, airing episodes this year as well. To be honest, I think that a lot of its episodes stand up to this day. So I'm going to briefly explain why I think that. First of all, the atmosphere. When watching Arthur, you feel comforted. Well, I felt comforted. I, I felt welcomed by the show. It's got this really soothing and gentle tone that really makes you feel laid back. And it settles you into the world, which, which is really great. It's, it's what makes the show so relaxing and just so humble. It's just, I, I really like it. I really like the tone of the show. Uh, and then the second thing would have to be the characters. Now, all the characters in the show are anthropomorphic characters, and they're either like half aardvark, half human, half bunny, half human, half monkey, half human. Loads and loads and loads. And the weird thing is that some of them have uh, pet dogs, but they are dog humans. It's weird and it's trippy, but yeah, that's a part of the show. Um, See, so the characters, yeah, the characters, the characters, they are really likeable. They're really likeable. I mean, not only are a lot of the characters just really sweet and friendly people that you just feel like you, you can be uh, really comfortable around, but they're also very, very relatable and identifiable. These are characters that you can recognize, people that you know. And even if you don't know someone like that, you can see yourself in them as well, because they have attributes and problems that everyone has. Everyone has. They all go through things that every human being does. And that's what makes them so relatable. That's what helps us connect to them as characters. And it's what's so important about an educational children's show. It has to have characters that the kids can relate to, the kids can connect to. They're all just really nice people, but not just nice. They're very human. And by that, I mean they all have their own weaknesses, talents, flaws, and personalities. They've got their, an edge to each of them. They all, they all have their own edge. They all have their, they're all in their own little worlds. They've all got their own fascinations and hobbies. And that's what's so great. It's like, you're telling, it's like you're telling the young audience, hey, hey kids, there's... There's this guy, right? He likes painting and books, just like you. And there's this girl, right? She's going for a terrible problem like, right now, just like you. It's fantastic. Now, the third thing would have to be the educational aspect of the show. You see, Arthur, unlike a lot of other educational programs, isn't condescending and treats the children that's watching the show with respect. It has a real mature approach to the way it tells its stories to a, its young audience. It, it takes things one step at a time. And it knows that children are capable of being patient. It tells its story in a really soft, slow, nice and gentle way. It, it does it one step at a time because it knows that kids aren't going to fidget in about five seconds or so. They're not all on buckets of Skittles. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then, I mean, my point being that a lot of, um, a lot of children's cartoons, especially a lot of educa educational children's cartoons, are very obnoxious and try to shove things in people's faces and they're basically just shaking the keys in front of them and just, oh. Kids are smarter than that, that's all I'm saying. Kids are much smarter than that. Um, you need to respect children. And even, even if they're not that smart, not that patient, you need to teach them to value those things. And Arthur teaches those things, teaches those lessons. I mean, like, there's a really good thing about the show that links to that. It teaches kids to value reading. 
which is a reading is a fantastic thing for kids to learn. It's a fantastic thing for anyone to learn because it teaches everyone to be patient to, to, and to rely on taking their time, turning pages, and letting things sink in and using their imagination rather than uh, letting someone else show them what's going on. They can use their imagination. So, and this show it really encourages people to read. I mean, when I was watching the show, I was like, oh my god, I want to read now. I'm so into read. I really want to read. I want to go and read. <laughs> That's what's so great. It really encourages people to read and to value, value the people and um, value the family and just be a good nice person just be a cool just be cool it's just telling you just be cool man just be cool treat everyone with respect and just be a decent human being and not many shows do that not many shows that shows actually do that and another test in this program is that it can entertain older audiences and the prime example would have to be that the show has a fan base that's around my age and to be honest, I think I'm in that fan, fan base now. I'm really immersed in the show. I, I feel, I feel as if that every time I go and tune into it, that I feel laid, laid back and entertained. Now, I will admit that this show has its flaws. I mean, first of all, it's reached season 16 by now, okay, right? And I have watched bits of the new seasons and what have they done to the animation is all I can say. I mean, the charm of the earlier episodes was that they had this really nice sketchy look to its animation, its drawing style. It looked really nice. It looked like it was taken out of a book's illustration. It looked really, really nice. It looked really appealing. But what it's done now is it's really copped out and given the, this really crude, lazy, flash animation kind of style. It's just, oh, it doesn't look right. I mean, like, it's just really low quality. It's heartbreaking to see the show in this state. Um, other flaws would be that, well, I will admit that some of the characters aren't that likeable. Some of them are a bit irritating. Uh, there's like Muffy, I can't stand her because she's so superficial and she's so self-involved and thinks that money is everything. I, I can't stand people like that, so I can't stand her. But the thing is, there are people like that. They do exist. So at least she's recognizable and, yeah, identifiable. And there's also DW. I can't stand DW, but I know, I know little kids like her. I know little, little kids that are really annoying like that. And I will also admit that sometimes the show can be a bit corny, and sometimes its jokes can fail. Sometimes it's funny, I mean like, the, the, the humour of the show is a bit charming, it's not like stomach achingly funny, but it's amusing. It's got nice, nice, nice little jokes going off, but when a joke doesn't work, it kind of makes me cringe. But I think it kind, kind of gets away with it, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, sometimes it's a bit corny, but it gets, like I said, it gets a boy over it because it's got this nice charm to it. So my question is, what do you think of the show? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments section.